We started off with, with Monday Madness, 29% down on a single day. I mean, that's just unheard of for a FTSE 100 stock. Um, people were trying playing guessing games, what is really happening to the stock. We still don't really have a clear picture, but when you look at the CDS prices that, that blew out, I mean, clearly there was wider market concern about, about the company's $30 billion debt position. Then as the weeks played on, we finally heard from the company on Tuesday. They broke their silence, said they had absolutely no solvency issues. They have good free cash flow. Uh, so I think that buoyed the stock. It, it, it allayed some fears. There have been some people, and I, and I think these, these stories are incorrect, saying that there, are, that there is debt that is uh, um, backed by assets within Glencore and that Glencore might then be forced to sell assets in order to satisfy that debt. And another story that, that perhaps Glencore was shopping around for more debt. I honestly think these, these stories are, are not true, mm -hmm. um, and I think they're put out there to, to try and collapse the company because there are people who, I mean, there were large short positions in Glencore on Monday, um, and, and it, it, it had a serious impact on the stock, and, and that's why we're all talking about it now. But Glencore is a much stronger business, fundamentally, than I think people are understanding. A significant part of the business is essentially a black box. It's the trading division and no one outside the organization has any real insights into all of the interwoven trades that are taking place within there and what sort of profits that they're going to deliver. If you believe, as we do, that the commodity prices, or certainly industrial commodity prices, will remain low for a protracted period of time, there's a number of these organizations that simply don't make a profit at these sorts of price levels. So from an equity perspective, if you're, if you're heavily geared and you're not making any profits, it doesn't take too long before, of course, you erode your equity value through losses and eventually the book value is eradicated. People are starting to worry about the world economy. We're going to have the IMF meetings in uh, Lima, Peru next week, and they're already saying they're going to downgrade their forecast. If you look at Glencore, it's so vast, such has connections in so many uh, important economies, 180,000 uh, workers around the world, 50 economies. Uh, it's the, big, uh, the fi fifth of, uh, of seaborne wheat uh, that is controlled by them. Uh, a lot of uh, mines, uh, Zambia, South Africa, cutting back uh, employment in the mines. So uh, it's a kind of uh, a good uh, barometer to have a look uh, for, at when trying to gauge the sense of the world economy.